kids, it, it when I got grandchildren, it intensified even more. And that has always been a passion in my heart to do for people. I'm the t I, sometimes I think I overstep my boundaries because <laughs> like I'll do things like <laughs> seriously, <laughs> like say, so you and Pinky Linda would be talking. And I hear you said to Pinky, oh, I need, I need a pair of sneakers. I ain't gonna say a word, but I would, I would call up Dave, you know, Dale, Tutti, whoever to find out what size shoes Linda wear. Uh, <laughs> right, right. And I, I would go and buy those sneakers and give them to you, and you'll be like, how did you know I needed sneakers? I'll be like, a little birdie told me. <laughs> like, I'll, do, I'll do things like that. Like, like sometimes I over, I, I really overextend myself. I think sometimes, like, but that's, I get joy in right. doing it. I, I love to do it. I don't have to know you to bless you. Correct. You Correct. know, all I need to know is you have a need. Mm -hmm. And for me, even if you're not talking to me directly and my it hits my air gate, that's something for me to move on. Mm -hmm. And I, I can't tell you how many times I do it and then I'll be like, Beth, was it's that not the right thing for you to do? <laughs> but I do it again the next time. Isn't that one of the gifts of the spirit though? Huh? Isn't that one of the gifts of the spirit though? Yeah. Right? Give in. Yeah, given. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. it's nine yeah. gifts, nine it's gifts of the spirit. spirit. In fact, let me look mm -hmm. it up. Let me look up the gifts of the spirit. It's yeah. nine That's gifts. Oh, so, yeah, I should get my arm. My arm, my arm. You did look up. Mess, mess, my, 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 my color thing again. The pad. IPad. IPad. Ha ha ha. You didn't get your money like that. You're so, you're so cute. <laughs> Isn't it nine gifts of the spirit or is it 12? It's nine, right? Mean? It's nine. I know the fruits of the spirit is nine. Oh, the fruits and the gifts. The fruit of the spirit. Is also, nine. what's the difference? Um, I don't know. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, kindness, gentleness. Yeah, and then the, the, the gifts of the spirits is like prophecy and um, oh, preaching. Okay. Uh, Wisdom, understanding, counsel, knowledge. Yes. Fear of the Lord. Like, um, like everybody has the, every believer has the fruits of the spirit because of the spirit of the fruit. But then right. the, gifts, the gifts is given out to individuals, you know, like what, what, your, what your gift is. Mm -hmm. But everybody gets fruits and gifts though, right? Oh yeah, but people are stronger in certain gifts. Oh yeah. Like the gifts of ministry. Mm -hmm. Gift of ministry, which is probably what you have, Linda. Right. Yeah, most of the spirit, uh, right. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yep, yeah, that's mm -hmm. what which means every child of God should have the fruits of the spirit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, it's true. not fruits. It's, it's fruit. It gives the individual the fruit the of the spirit. That's true. Mm -hmm. Very good point. Then he gives you preaching. He gives you the gift of, of ministry, of giving, of, you know. Right. Right. The gifts of the spirit. Uh, so it's nine fruits it and seven gifts. Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah, seven gifts. Okay, hold on. Let me go. Let me go into to this. Out. Okay, gifts of the Holy ah. Spirit. Wisdom, understanding, counsel. Counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety. Fear of the Lord. What do you mean, fortitude? That's what you're trying to do. No, for, let, for me, the, let me, let me, does it have to Oh, fortitude is like strength, like, you know, like, like keep on, keep going, keep. Okay, let me, let me see. Wisdom, knowledge, counsel, fortitude, understanding, piety, healing. Feeling. Healing, uh-huh. Let me see. Is, did you say prophecy tongues. already? Yeah, prophecy, tongues. tongues. Interpretation of tongues. 
Mm-hmm. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where is this thing Fortitude. taking me? Wisdom, knowledge, gift of faith, gift of healing, gift of miracles, gift of prophecy, the gift of discerning spirits, mm-hmm. gift of discernment, tongues, gift of interpreting tongues, and oh the my. gift of administration and the gift of help. Okay. Oh. The gift Did of you help. say the gift of help or help? Help. They are calling oh, different names. What is? I mean the same thing. Like this one says counsel. Fortitude, like fortitude, fortitude. So the gift of helps is a desire and capacity to always help others to do whatever it takes to get a task, a task achieved. Um, so I guess I got it bad. Yeah, you got that. That's that's on like that's on like the gift you got bad. No, the gift yeah. of administration. The gift to keep things in order and in agreement with God's principle. Of course, we all know what interpreting tongues is. Mm-hmm. We all know what tongues is. Yeah. Discerning of spirit, we all know what that is. We all know, right? Pinky, you know? Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. You know what a gift is discerning of spirits is? No, what it is. The gift of it, it it's a gift that recognizes whether it's the Holy Spirit that's operating in a person. So different spirits. Right. Yeah. You're able to pinpoint what spirit it is. Hey, baby. Operating in a person. Like, you ever yeah. walk in a room or, or, or be dealing with somebody and, and something in your spirit it just feels like... Mm. Like a heaviness on your chest. Yeah, like you feel like... Like a mm-hmm. funny... Mm-hmm. Yeah, something ain't right about it. Yeah. That's My husband yeah. had that bad. Yeah. He so was not, he not was not that yeah, so discerning of spirits. A lot of people, a lot of judgmental people, they try to say they got discerning of spirit. No, you're just judgmental. Yeah. Mm. You, just- <laughs> you ain't got no discerning of no spirit. You're a very ju- judgmental person. That's mm. totally different. Judgment, judgmental spirit is one of the spirits a discerner will see. Yes. I yeah. tell you straight out, that's not discerning of spirit. You're, ver- you're just a judgmental person. You, just have, you have a judgmental spirit. Right. Right, right. So discerning of spirit, you know, and it don't matter who the person is. It could be a pastor, a preacher, but you could be oh, a yeah. person and you just know that's not the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you, just, you just know something. So right. you're even able to pinpoint whether that was, this is this man's own natural spirit or whether this is a, a demon spirit operating yeah. in him. You know? Well, you know, then of course there's the prophetic gift, but there's a the prophetic gift, and then there's those walking in the office of the prophet. Totally different things. Mm-hmm. A lot of people think it's the same thing, but it's not. Every Christian, no one again could have the gift of prophecy. Prophecy. Like if you're praying for something for somebody and the Lord gives you you just know something and, and you, you tell a person when you're praying for them or whatever, every child of God should be able to do that. Oh, the yeah. office of a prophet is totally different. As somebody like Elijah. Elijah. And, and, you know. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. Those who were actually prophets. You know, they have all the the um, the other gift that comes with the, the prophetic gift. You know. Mm-hmm. Which is all those gift list listed, plus um, dreams, and being able to interpret <coughs> dreams, and and all that kind of stuff mm. goes along with it as part of part of your your gift. So the Holy Spirit gives everybody gifts, you know. Yeah. You know what your gift is? Ask God to show you where your gift is. I know one of mine was speaking in tongues. You think was, one of yours was speaking one in tongues? is one of oh, okay. mine is speaking okay. in tongues. I know okay. that for I know, a fact. I know your brother got the gift to the interpret, brother Dale. Real Dale. Yeah, you were telling me about a time with you and him. <laughs> yeah, remember the time Monica we were in a church in Edenville? Yeah. And yeah, and, and you were telling me the Dale, she's speaking tongues, and I was like, 
right now? She's right now. And you were like, yeah, I hear it in English. You were like, oh, let's tell the car start. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you think you wanted to rat you out? Yes. <laughs> you were like, I know that was a, I know that was a gift. <laughs> She was because ready. I hear in one thing when he hear in English, and I'm like, that's a gift. Right. Don't hide your gift. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, guys, grab a hand and send us still right here. You know what I'm Oh my gosh. Have it ever happened to you again, Dale? What the, um, the, the hearing somebody speak? Yeah. Not really. I mean, I've heard. I mean, I've I've, I've been in church where I have people speaking in tongues, but I didn't hear. I didn't. I didn't hear them in English. Oh, okay. You know, I've heard. You know, I've heard people. Yeah, I've heard. I've been in church with people speaking in tongues, and you just felt one church we went to. We were standing up there, and and the pastor pastor was preaching. This was everything you know. It's God because everything was so orderly. Pastor was preaching, and then the person got up to speak in tongues. The pastor shut up. Person spoke in tongue, and when a person started speaking, the whole atmosphere of the 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 room changed. Uh-huh. Like the whole spirit came in. Wow! And I mean, wow. Like, well, it's like, a, it's like a, if 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 I had hair, the hair would be standing over and then on my head. Mm-hmm. So there was an energy came in that woman. That person spoke, but spoke with authority. We nobody knew what it was saying, but then he sat down. Another person on the other side got up and spoke what a person spoke in English. Mm-hmm. Wow. It just Application. Wow. It wasn't saying anything like, you know, tomorrow the sun going to come up. No, it wasn't anything like it was just like the person stood up and spoke with this authority, like, you know, I am the Lord God. And when yeah. he said that, that's what my friend her hair. She was like, Oh, Dale, do you feel that? I was like, Yep. Yeah. Wow. It wasn't a suggestion. It wasn't a, please consider me the Lord God. No. <laughs> it wasn't any of that, like, oh, please consider me. Please think about it. No, it's no think about it. I am. Right. I am the Lord God. No question. Mm-hmm. No, just was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. no question. Of, that was when the Lord speaks. And a lot of these people say, they got to shake my hand in God's face. I say, yeah, you go look at that. Please, that's people who ain't got no, 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 no understanding. Like, when you're done with that, you can send me an email because I won't be there with you. Right. In the face, I say, yeah, good luck with that. I say, you won't be able to, you won't be able to stand up. Exactly. You won't be able to, you won't be able to stand, your knees will buckle, your own body will Yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. even stand in the presence of an angel that comes. You can't. Mm-hmm. How are you going to stand in the presence of God, God. himself? Please. The real Holy One. What the Bible tell you? Every time an angel appear, the 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 prophet fell on his face like he dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that was just an angel that appeared. Mm-hmm. How much more the Lord God Himself? Oh my yeah. God! Please. People don't they don't they don't know they don't know. What is Isaiah? What is Isaiah? Isaiah was in the presence of the Lord, and he fell down like he was dead. They had to come touch him. With the with the call from the altar. Mm. Was that Isaiah or Ezekiel? That was Ezekiel or that was uh Isaiah. Maybe I think it was Isaiah. Which it was one? Isaiah. It was Isaiah. Okay. Ezekiel was the one when he saw the Lord high and lifted up and his yes. stone filled the temple. Yes. That was Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Isaiah was the one who went in the presence of God and he could eat. He was just like he was like a dead man. Mm-hmm. And the angel had to come take the coal and touch him and touch his tongue so he could. So he could speak. And he could get up. That was Ezekiel. No, that was Isaiah. Look it up. It was Ezekiel (laughs) with the coal touching his tongue. Isaiah was the one where the the presence of God was so strong that he ended up sick for a week. No, that was, that was, um, I think that's Ezekiel. Why can't I find this? Oh, here it is. You found the scripture? Yeah, I was trying to feel too, but I think I'm, it will be hard to read. The, I don't know which exactly. I think it's Isaiah 11, but no, this thing is acting up. Of course. Of course. Of Do you want to peep? Let me see. Yeah, we're about to study. 
Google it. Yeah, I can't Google. You, you, you Google and then I Google. Yeah, okay. I don't know with Ezekiel because when I was writing this the book on angels, Ezekiel was one of the books he had me in like crazy. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, it was Isaiah. Right. In the year the King Uzziah died, I yeah. told you right, Dale. It was Isaiah. You saw so that's, right. one of my favorite, that's one of my favorite, read from my favorite um, um, stories in the Bible. So right. Mm. Ezekiel was, was the one who saw the angel, the vision of the angel, the cherubim and the seraphim carrying yeah. the throne. But this was, uh, yeah, it was Isaiah. Ezekiel is the one who saw the wheel within a wheel too? Yeah. Oh, OK. Isaiah was yeah, the king Uzziah died. I saw the Lord sitting upon the throne. Yes, I am a man of unclean lips and I dwell among the people of unclean lips. Yeah. Never forget uh. that. I was so odd by that story. I was like, wow, man. I need to think about it. It said the train of his robe filled the temple. That's the only way he could describe whatever, whatever it was he saw. Wow, that's that that's amazing. His glory, what is his glory? Was his glory? His, 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 the Shekinah glory? Was that his train, right? Was that his train? Yeah. Because I know it wasn't an actual um, fabric. Yeah, of course. You know, so the train of his robe. So he's clothed, he's clothed in majesty. He's clothed in, in glory. So the train of that clothing, which is glo his glory and his majesty. Fill the entire temple. Yeah, we don't even know. We don't even know. And he he, wow. he he can only use human terms for a king. Correct. Like a throne. Correct. Like they, they actually sit down. They sit down like this, you know, finding nails or just sitting down there looking down at you. No. And he had a throne and he had a train and the train fit. No, it's that's just the only metaphor he could come up with because that's what we know. Your brain. Correct. Would... And you know, I thought about that the other day, you know, but the throne. Mm -hmm. I just popped into my mind. I was like, I, I said, Lord, every time we think about you sitting on your throne, we always, I, at least I, always envision a throne, a chair. Yeah. 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 But the Bible says he sits on the wing of the wind. Oh my gosh. Mm. And, and it sits, and that sits upon a a firmament of what's that? What's that? Um, what's that jewel? Oh my gosh! Sapphire. Sapphire. Yes. Mm. And then the underneath that is the cherubim and the wheels, and flying above him is the seraphim, the four seraphim singing, saying, "Holy, holy, holy!" holy. holy. And they totally, they are totally made out of fire, the cherubims. The cherubims um, of fiery beings. That's what, what the word cherubim means, fiery ones. So they are totally made of fire. Yet you could see the wings. They have seven wings and you could see the eyes inside the wings. Eyes all over and the skin on their wings, on their leg covered. Can you imagine something like that? You in a dark alley or something like that. A pair. Oh my gosh. Mm. Imagine you you will pass out. I go fall to my mm -hmm. knees. I I done. Come flapping your wings that, that, no you day. Day. I don't even suffering. know what I'll do. I honestly don't know what I'll do. I'll tell you what he'll be saying to me when he see me. They'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord has something to say. Send an email. <laughs> <laughs> But guess what? He could fly faster than you could run. I'm telling you. Never so he has to take care of the come back. He's going to be ahead of you. <laughs> really? In front of him, standing right there waiting for him. Okay. Wait for the door. I'm in front door. You tired yet? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> but just, just, we have no idea what in heaven. 
We don't know. Uh, oh my gosh. And when we get there and we see these beings, we're going to be in such awe. Such awe. Like Michael. Michael is a cherubim and an archangel. He holds two offices. So did Lucifer. Yeah. Two, two offices. A cherub and an archangel. Which arc, of course, we know mean head. So he, they're both head angels. But the cherub, and, uh, uh, what, what's the description of a cherub? They got four faces. Nobody ever painted Satan the correct way. They always painted it with one face. A cherub has four faces, four wings, legs of brass, of bronze, and their feet is like hooves of a calf. And inside their wings is the hands of one human one. hands. You, you said that they, you said that they were the, the four faces and the four wings, and yet and 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 in the earth we have the four corners, four corners of the earth. Right. Uh -huh. So there's something about four. Correct. Huh. Correct. There's something right. about four. The number four. The number. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's look that up too, because if the, the, each number, biblically, I think four. Wait, hey, don't we have four seasons too? Yeah, yeah. four seasons. Yeah. We got yeah. four seasons too. There yeah. is something with fours. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So what are you looking up, Linda? Numbers, what the biblical meaning of numbers? Oh, you know, seven, seven is supposed to be the number of the Lord, isn't it? Yeah. And six. I know is that the, for sure. Is seven is completion. Man. Yeah. Six is the number of man, I suppose. I think. I think that's what yeah. they say. This is the number one. One is un union and oneness. Two is companionship, witness, division. Three is Trinity. Of course, we all know that. A divine mm -hmm. design. And four is creative works of God. Four pertains uh. to God, earthly, under the sun, creative works. Four yep. Of the yep. Earth, four seasons. Yep. Four directions. Yep. Four phases of the moon. Yep. Mm -hmm. Four elements. Earth, yep. Earth, Wait with fire, wind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four rivers in paradise. Four winds of heaven. Yeah. Four things that make up the universe: time, energy, space, and matter. Oh, yeah. Four divisions of the day: morning, noon, evening, and midnight. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I know, right? Wow. So four, yeah, four. Four has a lot to do with the earth. Yeah, that's true. The number of man, God's number, like you said, day seven is God's number of completion, perfection, and rest. Mm. And eight is new beginnings. Eight is new beginnings, Jeff. Yeah. And nine is fullness of time, finality, and faith. 10 is completion of divine order. They don't have 11. You don't have 11. 11 is uh, the beginning of one, probably. And, and 12 is God's perfect government. There's 12 lunar cycles, 12 hour periods in day and night, 12 patriarchs. From Seth to Noah, 12 patriarchs from Shem to Jacob, 12 judges. 12 stones on the breastplate of the high priest, 12 spies that Moses sent out to spy in mm. Canaan, mm. 12 tribes of Israel. Jesus was 12 years old when when went to the to the um to the temple. 12 apostles, of course. 
and 12, he did the 12 kingdom of heaven parables. The 12 represents heavenly governmental uh, prophet government. Prophet government? And four is uh, pertaining to the earth realm. The earth realm, yeah. God is so, so ordered. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, he's not got anything going chaotic. Anything you see anything chaotic, God in there. It's exactly correct. Okay, exactly. I'm confusing and young people going on with I can confusion in the church yet, God in there. Exactly. Exactly correct. That's how that's how you figure out is the enemy. Yep. Just like God can be in chaos, the enemy can do order. Yep. Huh. You know how how how, how he, he can do he can he can do order. He will cast out of order. Yep. He he didn't take it with him. So the opposite of order is chaos. He's trying to be like yeah. orderly. He trying to be his goal was to be like his goal was to be like God. Right. Right. You know, you, you, you left where order is. So, of course, the only thing left is chaos. It's chaos. You know, and, and hell is everything that God is not. Where God is not. Uh -huh. the, the, absence, the absence of God's presence. The absence of God. Can you imagine the absence of, like, 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 you know, they say um, certain things don't really exist. It's just the absence of something. Yeah, yes. like something color white is. I think it's black or white. Right. Oh, every color is in the color black. Yeah, but I think it's white. Is uh -huh. awesome. Every color come out of the color black. Yeah. Every shade come out of the color black. I don't care how you try to slice that part. Yeah, yep. come out of the color black. You know, but things like cold. Absence of heat. Is the absence of heat. Yeah. Mm. Cold does not in and of itself exist. Heat does. Heat does. True. Sure. Cold is a result of the absence of heat. You know what I mean? Yep. And love. The absence of love is what? Hate. Hate. Hate in itself don't exist as a freestanding thing. It's the absence, yeah. absence of something. And all those things are what's in God. So the, you imagine you imagine living on a wall where God is not. Mm -hmm. It would have been a mess. <laughs> it done a mess. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. they're trying to take God out of everything. <laughs> what do you think? What do you, you think? Can't take out of everything. Got, they're listen, trying, God, they're trying so hard, but it, it could if, never if work. God, if God honored them and took himself out, two seconds and everybody would be frozen because he just opened hmm. the sun. He could just hmm. turn out the sun. Exactly. The sun is there because of him. Everything you is Y'all don't want me, then y'all don't want nothing I have. No, but the, the thing is that remember, even when you're going to science. And they go down to the to the molecular level mm. where they go into. They still don't know what holds everything together. Correct. God. Exactly. Exactly. Put the whole together. <laughs> I don't want him. I, if he actually said, okay, whatever, bye. Things stop existing. It ain't like he can go on and the earth can go on spinning and the wind go on blowing. No, it, it all dissipates. That's right. Hmm. That's right. You're going to non existence, okay. And in all, remember what the Bible tells you? In all things, all things have their being in Him, right? Uh -huh. He binds everything together. They, they say, What holds this together? What, like, the, the, the molecules that's in this, why holds it together? What makes this exactly what keeps it like this? Correct, keeps it together. What keeps anything together before it, it, it and it just it got it? Oh, okay, you don't want me. The, Why would it hold together? They oh. they themselves would disappear because he's holding them together. That's what I'm saying. You would disappear. Everything around you disappear and become into the no nothingness. Correct. And they don't even stop to think, wait a minute. I don't want the one person that even that keeping me together. Then then I wouldn't exist. Exactly. They don't yep. stop to think. They don't. You know, to even to, to go even that a little 
Rise up in your thinking, man. Yeah, but they don't Rise believe. Up in your thinking. I want nothing to do with God. Then you don't want to live. You want to. Hmm. You don't want to. You you don't want to exist. Then is that what you're saying? You want nothing to do with God. If the atheist, the atheist, I understand because they just don't believe. But the people them is people who believe and but they just don't want anything to do with God. Right. Mm. Those are the ones I don't understand. Okay, you know, but you just don't want. Okay. Atheists, I get they don't believe, they don't think nothing they everything it was an accident, blah 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 blah. Okay, that's foolishness too, but still I right. can understand that. But the ones that believe and know, but still, mm, no thank you. Those are them. I don't. I don't. I don't get. Right. 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 Not even in a, not even in another. It's not even you. You're not even trying to follow another faith or another religion. Okay, I can understand it because at least you're trying to believe, but they just don't. They believe. They know something is there, but they say, "I don't want to know. I don't. I'm not curious. I'm not curious enough to know. How could you not be curious? Right. You're you curious him, enough to know because when they need him in times of need. They know him. Right. Yeah. So they know, they, they're curious to, they know who he is, but only when they want him. Right. When they need him. Leah, Leah, big truck, a big truck come out of the controller, headed there. The, uh, that guaranteed the first name they're going to call out. First name they're going to call. Yeah, first the, name. Remember the old saying, there's, there's no, there's no atheists in fox holes. In fox holes, mm. yes. <laughs> Yeah, so, and it's the truth. It's a very old saying. Every, yeah, and it's the truth. Everybody suddenly common sense that kick in. Yeah. yeah. And that probably will be looking at them and just probably will be, I don't know how he able with us, you know. How he so forgive us huh? so many times. And that he's able is like how he forgive us. And we can't forgive the man that lied to us or did something to us. We can't forgive him, but God forgive us. Right. You know what I mean? But that, that comes back to, to, to one of the, the fundamental things that I was trying I was trying to get across to some judgmental people. Yeah. That you when you come down with a judgment and you'd say, Oh, God didn't use this person or this person ain't going here or that person ain't going because of this and then that. Like I was telling said, your misunderstanding and you're not you're not fully understanding and I don't even fully understand I'm not gonna say I understand it either but you you you're not fully grasping or really fully understanding the love of God and his grace right amen you, you're not grabbing it you're not you're not getting it I'm not telling, oh you understand it no I don't either right but I know I at least I know a little part it's 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 grand it's big it's huge, it's big, it's beyond our understanding. Correct. And they don't grasp that. That's what they say. Don't live with the judgments on people and oh, he you never know, use this person. And oh, look at she. Why you, you teach for another? Stop it, man. Right. Stop. Right. Like like Ivan does say, like they got a heaven or a hell to put you in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know what I no, one thing I one thing I will never say is God can't use. Oh yeah, don't say that. Oh yeah, I will say never that. say that. I will never listen. Paul was on his way to kill people. Right. Yep. Yep. He's the biggest example. Exactly. So don't say God can't use. Yeah. Oh, he's a murderer. God could have used Hitler if he wanted to. Oh yeah. 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 Paul he was on people. the road to Damascus to kill Christians, and yep. God intercepted the he, he, he tail. Huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. And now look, everybody reading what Paul wrote. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. And he was a religious zealot. Yeah, exactly. Which is which is the worst kind. <laughs> which is the worst kind. Exactly. <laughs> just one thing. He was so he was they, so, they never sure, was so sure he was right. Correct. That he was willing to murder for it. Correct. That's so much of a zealot he was. Yes. That was and, commitment. And wasn't thinking the murder is wrong. Of course not. How can I how can I do wrong for a right cause? Exactly. Because because you see it, it it's 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 religion twisting your head and it's tradition and it's this and it's defending. I gonna defend my religion. God don't need you to defend anything. Nothing, yeah. Absolutely. 
when you start when you start like some of them some of them um extremists islamist extremists talk about oh i won't kill you because you 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 said call a prophet or you draw the prophet i'm oh, my god don't need god don't need defending no. god word speak for itself that's yeah, right. doesn't, exactly. need you don't need to be i'm gonna slap you in the name of the lord no <laughs> come on he says not to defend I, I had a friend i had a friend at work he was uh he, he's a, he's a mother. One time he asked me, he asked me one time, he told, told me one time, you don't believe in anything, Dale. And so why, why would you say that? He said, because one time I remember I asked you that if somebody took, took your scripture and threw it in, in the fire, spit on it, jumped up on it and threw it in the fire, that you wouldn't get upset. And you looked at me and you said, no. I don't understand why you wouldn't get upset. They're disrespecting your book. Yeah, they're disrespecting a book. Yeah. Why would I? Why would I go jump on a person and fight and take out knife and stab you? Stab that, that. No. Why? I said, knock yourself out. Whenever you, when you're looking for the match, I go see the match over there. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'm be like, dude, knock yourself out. You're not doing anything to me. You're not doing anything to the Lord. Correct. Mm. You're not doing anything to the Lord. I'll get a little upset if you grab the Bible out of my hand. Yeah, I'll get a little upset, but I ain't gonna talk to my hand. I'll get a little upset, of course. Well, you want to go burn, burn Bibles and spit on it and jump up and say, mm, okay. That's what he is right now. That's what you want to do, okay? Right. And I'm gonna go slap the man and hold him down and cuss him and hit him and throw him in jail and ask, why? Huh. I'm like, nah, God could defend himself. God is God, God, the Lord don't need me. Right. But they they so used to people saying that that they gonna do this and that to them when they do that because they turn the Bible into an idol, right? They yeah. don't realize that it's just a piece of paper with words and teachings. Yep. So you can you I can get a Bible. It's like saying if, I, if somebody if I'm reading the Bible on my phone and you take my phone and smash it, I gotta get mad because I was reading the Bible on the phone when you did it, or you delete my app, my Bible app. I'm I'm gonna cuss you and beat you yeah. because you delete my Bible app. You you're, probably, you're probably gonna get a little bit more mad because that, that was my new iPhone. Because <laughs> right. you know you get the Bible at home, but the Bible is supposed to be up here. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Right. It's just it's just it's about to learn from. Yeah, you can smash it and do whatever you want. It's up here. Correct. Correct. I mean, it's supposed to be hidden in your heart anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Hidden. Yeah. So if it's hidden in your heart. They can't smash it. They can't yeah. burn it. They can't yeah. step on it. It's mm-hmm. in your heart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's the ultimate destination of the word of God. Yeah. You know, it it ain't it ain't the rest on your dressing table as a dust catcher. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be hidden in your, your heart. heart. And you give it the place mm-hmm. it's supposed to have, as the scripture says. Thy word is a lamp unto my mm-hmm. soul, a light mm-hmm. unto, unto my path. path. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. It's not the path. It's the light to the path. Right. You're saying it's not the path. You take a lamp and you go to the the, the, the lamp light the path. Oh, this is where God want me to walk. Okay. And you might see you might see trouble ahead. Oh, trouble ahead. Oh no, don't go that way. Don't turn that way. Wait for that animal to pass. It's a light to the path. Right. Hmm. People try to treat it like it is the past. Right. Right. And it's not. God gives you your path. That's why that's why a lot of people start to misunderstand. That's what that's why Peter, like we always go back to Peter, when Jesus said, Come follow me, and he said, Oh, what about him? What about him? Stop worrying about the other guy. Oh, he doing yeah. like me. He ain't praying like me. Or she don't do it like me. And he don't say it like me. How come he ain't over here with me? And how come he ain't doing this like me? And like, stop. Uh. Oh, well, in his ministry like that, how come she didn't be doing that? She don't be. So that's what God wanted to do. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So you do, you do this. You want Linda to do that. You want Monica to do this. You let them do what exactly. God wants. Exactly. When you, you walk on your path. Right. Right. You yeah. follow me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what he told Peter. You follow me. Don't worry about him. You don't worry about him. You follow me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because I'm going to lead you. Yeah, a lot of us get like that. You're supposed to be like you. You do. You pray a certain way. You go a certain way, so you think everybody should go that way too. No, right? 
right any other way is wrong uh, uh, you you blast and then you 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 don't even realize like you blaspheme in the holy spirit when you do stuff like that yeah. you you what are you what blaspheme or what what they call what what's the other word did they, they use blaspheme the breathing or your breathing or your or your your blacking or your doing something like that for the holy spirit um um what you want to do in somebody's life but you you you're the biggest obstacle mm-hmm. You become Satan takes you and makes you an obstacle, a stumbling block, a stumbling block. And he makes you a stumbling block, and then you and then he he surrounds it with God's words. So you think you're so right, right, right. You know, no, Linda, should we doing it like this? And you swear you're right, because mm-hmm. you 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 have to defend God's honor. Yeah, and he uses you to be a big stumbling block. Exactly um, correct. You don't realize it. Exactly correct. As I, I had to learn, I got to stay in my lane, and not because you can, I can't get in my car, drive down the street, and be looking in your car while I drive in. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whatever happened. Yeah. And you'll your, your path. path. Exactly. Yeah. You're not seeing your path. You're seeing other right. people's path. Their path yeah. is different than yours. You follow your path. And then you're going to crash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're going to get up killing yourself. So you're, so That's you're, why you're, I don't cover it. I don't care what you have, what you receive. I don't care. That's right. what God has for you. That's, I'm not going to be jealous of that. Right. I learned that a long time ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When God <laughs> blessed, me, blessed me, I, I pray that you guys, since Annie, you finally got your blessing. You know, same thing I would say for you guys. But people don't like to understand that they get jealous of you and, and covet what you have because they don't There's have a lot of jealousy in the body of Christ. Yes. Mm-hmm. And yes. that's what Unfortunately. That, that's part of the reason why a lot of us are not growing in Christ. We're not receiving the things we're praying for. Right. Because we, we pray in a miss most of the times. And and when our sister or brother in Christ get blessed. Instead mm-hmm. of we rejoice for them, rejoice with them, we envy them. The spirit yeah. of jealousy come. Mm-hmm. How come she get a car and, and I've been praying for a car for so long and right. I get one? Yeah. You don't. You don't know the sacrifices that your sister in Christ made. Maybe right. that sister would fast every day and pray, but right. you refuse to fast. Yeah. You refuse to pray. You just go in based on the fact that I'm a Christian. And right. I ask God for this, He should give it to me. No, He's not a Santa Claus up in the sky just pouring out blessing. You you, you got to do a little work. You take one step, and He will take yep. the other one and bring and, and get you into a walk in motion. Yeah, you know. But uh, there's a lot of envy in the body of Christ. Unfortunately, sad. Yeah. But so. it's true. I agree. I'm it's sure sad. it's. it's- it's praying and fasting, but also you don't know what sacrifices she made in other areas of life. She could have mm-hmm. given up going out with her family for mm-hmm. months at a time so she could afford the down payment of a car. She could have mm-hmm. gone out and gotten mm-hmm. herself a second or third job. And yep. you don't know what she's, you mm-hmm. don't know her life and what she's doing, but yet you, you don't know her, her story. Blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of encouraging and, you know, you just, you just, Beat you down. Try to try to beat you down, but I know mm-hmm. how to, I know how to ignore real good. Yeah. Yeah, I you know no, I ignore them quick without saying a word. Uh. <laughs> yeah. But also, also people look at the person who got the car, and mm-hmm. they envy them when they get what they asked for, but it wasn't as big as the car, so they right. got. Mm-hmm. But now they're they're mad and they're not even appreciative appreciative of their blessing because somebody else got something better, yeah. something bigger, or something that they now want. Yep. Yeah. I don't have no that's time for that, man. My face is always the, lifted. I have no time for that. That's one of the biggest sins for mankind is coveting. Yep. Yeah. Mhm. You never know what that person did to get that. They could say, our father who had to have in the, in the household is say, say it you promise me. You know? But I mean, you not, don't know that. So why you uncover what they get? You don't know how they got it. That's true. You no. Know? But it's so, not just that. It's, 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 perfecting is one of the biggest, is one of the biggest yeah. sins. 
because of not only is it, it's within us, it's encouraged within us. Yeah. We see TV, oh, your car ain't good enough. Yeah. yeah. You don't get a bigger house. Your shoes, oh, your shoes, oh, shoes, true. shoes, get new dates, get new dunking. It can't be bombarded constantly. Right. They don't want you to have this spirit of contentment. They want you to be this. Right. Correct. Correct. Yeah. They, 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 they focus better. on your greed, the greed factor. Yeah. Now we have phones now, and now they advertisement on your phone. Oh, the new shoes, the new this, the new they do the. If you know you even got dog, you probably tell you, oh, you got that dog, why don't you go get a better dog? Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's a smaller dog. Huh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. With, with everything. You just buy a phone, they tell you, oh, the new, the, what's Samsung, what's Samsung, um, um, motto? The next best thing. The uh -huh. next okay. big thing. I don't feel like that lady sometimes, I don't know if I saw that commercial in, um, Best Boy had a commercial. And it's, it, of course, I was a black lady. Black lady coming out of Best Buy. She just buy a new phone. She happy. <laughs> she see a billboard. The next new phone, blah blah blah. She look at the what the fuck? You just get you just get a new phone. You just get a new car. You just buy a new home. You just get new shoes. Whatever stuff like that. And then here they come along again. Mm -hmm. Oh, those shoes that was so yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, then the earrings, oh, they were so yes. Then, man, we have to, we have to stop. Mm. It's hard because it's empty. You turn on your TV, it's there. You turn on your phone, it's there. You turn on your radio, it's there. Yeah. And it's already inside you already, and now they're just amplifying it. And reinforcing it. What do you say? The, the lust of the eyes. What's the other one? What I what I um I the think it's a, the eyes, the pride of life, and there's a third one. And there's um oh yeah. I was thinking about the other one that said they they I think it's the eyes are never satisfied with seeing. The eyes are never satisfied yeah. with seeing, and then there's another one that said they they the tongue never satisfied. I've heard it before, but I forgot how it go. Yeah. Mm. I know it's the first one is the eyes and everything that's why we're seeing because you're you know they lost their eyes. Which is what probably to me is the lost of the eyes. Look at that. You know what, lady guys, ladies? One of the things yeah. is what hello everyone. Hello. People need, Hi. People, people need to realize this too, because I've seen where my, my, my sister was telling me one day, so there is this lady on her job that had gotten a job over my over her, her, my sister. And my sister was happy for her and everything like that. And she explained to me, now you never know what the fate of that person is. We don't know what the fate of everyone is. So if you think you may look and say, okay, why is this person getting ahead of me? Why is this person getting this and getting that? Maybe because their time on earth is coming to an end and what needs to be fulfilled in their life must be fulfilled. So when we see people are getting what they what they have, truly don't covet because you don't know what tomorrow holds for them. Exactly. That's true. Uh, That's exactly. So true. That's so true. Good point, Maria. And in fact, that lady my, with my sister, she ended up, passing away she oh, died wow. yeah wow. that's that's what i was trying to say to the story so again so my sister so you see what what she needed to accomplish and get in this in, in her journey on earth she had to get it when she get when when she got it got it although you know because her life was coming to an end mm -hmm. wow yeah and here you go envying her and upset because she got what you ain't got thank you and that, yeah. is, that is answering her prayer because he, he, he knew he about to call her home. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. So be, we, we, everyone has to be careful. Like, okay, why you have a new house? And, you know, you have what, two houses now? You don't know what tomorrow holds. Stay mm -hmm. in your little apartment, stay content, mm -hmm. and continue living on. Or yeah, whatever you have, true. be thankful for what you have. And, mm -hmm. I move on. I move on. Another thing too is um, they may not be able to handle what other people have. 
So yes. somebody get a new, you know, you looking at somebody who just got a new house and you in your apartment and you know, you mad because they got a house and you wanted a house, but what if you would have got the house, but now you can't take care of it? Something go down, you can't pay for it. Correct. Or Correct. You know, the, Correct. The interest rate goes up. Something happens where you can't, now you can't take care of the house and pay mm-hmm. the bill or the light right. bill you expected because you never And then had what it. you thought was a blessing turns into be a burden. Exactly. Amen. Exactly. I heard that before. You know, it, it kills your faith. You end up struggling because now you got this this blessing and you bitter and you you stressed all the time and you angry and it could affect your spiritual life you yeah. know mm-hmm. stuff true that true that's yeah. another way to look at it yeah that's true yeah when the issue we're talking about that too when the interest rate went down for homes a lot of people want to sell their home and get bigger homes and right. if, and then two years later these interest rates start to rocket balloon what do you call it balloon balloon oh, interest yeah. something like that oh. Oh. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. I don't jump. I don't jump on every bandwagon when I hear. I I gotta right. see how what happened first before I make a decision. And you have I'm to sorry. pray. You like like I was telling Linda the other day. I, I call my bank to apply to um apply for auto loan. A little I told you guys mentioned, and they deny me. So it's okay, yeah. Lord. You just don't want me to get the car. I'm content That's with it. my little with my little Saturn. Like, I think I can. Yes, I can. I'm gonna keep on keeping my Saturn. I love <laughs> it, and I'm grateful for it. You know, I, and you know, and then I heard this other person driving up with this brand new truck, and I'm like, God bless you, good for you, you can handle it. I can't. Huh. <laughs> right. Huh. So, you see, I'm looking for an SUV now because I have bad knees, but I'm not rushing to go get one because I right. know I, my credit is good, but I'm not rushing. I don't wait till God give me a sign to just like He did me when I got my Kia. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It was easy. I was paying for it. Everything. You know, so this time I want to get a, a bigger car only because I, I would like to just lift a leg, put my hip in and get in. Not yeah. to go under and bend yeah. my head and go in yeah. there. Uh-uh. When you're coming uh, out, just walk up yeah. coming out. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I have bad knees and now I can't go down that low into right. my into my um my yeah. style. So I want oh, to get yeah. something a little what? bit bigger. What did you say there? So you have a Scion, Annie? Yeah, uh, BX. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and it um it sits kind of low, and um mm-hmm. when my knee is in pain, because you know I do the two jobs: driver's license, road test all day, and then run to Walmart. Yeah. So the constant physical beating on it. So yeah, mm-hmm. so I need something a little higher. So I could just throw my hip in and swing in. And one other thing that people don't some, some people don't really pay attention to take notice is like um you gotta you, you gotta manage your finance yes you do and like i was you know giving Liz, linda's testimony how the lord <laughs> spoke to me about um i have i have a had a I have a few credit cards and he says he literally broke down my finances to the penny and tell me what to do, what to pay, what to take, what, what, how exactly to do what I needed to do, and said, and spend no more money. I got all the cards, cut them all up, <laughs> pay them off, do this, do that. Mo, he said, take this and put it over here. Take this amount and pay it on this. Do the and I, and, and and interesting too because that was a few days later after that. I was listening to a minister and he was talking about finances and reconfirming exactly what the Holy Spirit told me to do with my budget, my finance. He gave me a budget. And the other day I was thinking of purchasing something and he says, remember, do not spend any money. Ah, we, got, we, got, we have to pay attention to things like that. You may yeah. think like, oh, I'm just, I'm thinking it by myself. And no, you're not. Because you have to be a good steward. God's watching right. how you, how you, 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 he's watching how you, when you get a credit card, how you use a credit card, what you use it for, mm-hmm. all these different things, mm-hmm. you know, it, every penny, because it's not our money, it's God's money. Okay. He Ooh. entrusted with us and we have to use, we have to use wisdom. Mm-hmm. And what we buy, how we buy and when we buy and is it necessary? Do you really need that? Do you, you know, we have to pay attention. Okay, because if God can, if God can trust us with obeying um, things like this, then he, he knows that he can give you a house and know that 
if you obey what he said now in the yeah. apartment or in, in living with your family or whomever, you will obey when he says do this and do that because he's going to provide the house or whatever you need or the vehicle, whatever you need, if you need it. And because, you know, he, he can trust you. You listen. You obey. Yep. He trusts you with little things and then he'll yeah. give you bigger things because, yep. you know, you would do what he says you to do, what he guides you to. Yep. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yep, 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 huh. yep. Yeah. But yet, advertisers, they cater to the lust of the eyes. Yeah. The lust of the flesh. Yeah. Yep. And the pride of life. There yep. you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's what they cater to. Yeah. Those are the three things the Bible says. Well, I need to lust all they want. If I don't need it, I don't want it. That's Me it. Too. Shoot. The only time, the only time I need right now, what I would love to have is a, a bigger vehicle. And if, um, I'm, I'm planning for it. Once I get it, that's it. Ain't got nothing else I want. I'm contented with what I have right now. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Bible says contentment Amen. is great gain. Huh? Yes. The Bible says contentment is great gain. Thank it, you. He blessed me with uh, it. I'm happy with my home. Why are you going? Huh. You know, I have a, a beautiful home. I, I just, you know, upgraded it a little bit and I'm contented. Why are you going? Yeah. <laughs> No other fancy house and stuff don't bother me, you know. So I got I got my own. Uh, Y'all call it stepping ladder. When I got these stairs going up now, <laughs> I need to lose a little weight, but that's okay. <laughs> going up and down these stairs ain't no joke sometimes, but it keep me going, you know. So where I going? I'm happy with what I, what God blessed me with almost twenty years ago. Uh, Amen. It's gonna be twenty years. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. March. March 12, 2003. Wow. Wow. I've been in this house. Yeah. And by his grace, is me how I get to maintain this house. Me, not me. He and me. Or me and him. And I, mm -hmm. No, I ain't going nowhere. The only time <laughs> I'm going somewhere is when he put my foot out first on a, on a, on a gurney or something. Uh-uh, I ain't going nowhere. I'm contented with what I have. <laughs> Serious thing. No gurney. I'm going. I'm going in a. I'm going in a rapture. No, I. Huh? I'm going in a rapture. When the Lord come, but if he if the rapture ain't come yet, we're like going foot for us or when he put me in the ambulance. Take me smooth, Jesus. Take me smooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take me smooth. This world yeah. getting too crazy now. Everybody, I mean, sense don't even make sense no more. People, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Sense don't make sense no more. <laughs> You know, but people believe in garbage than what they see the facts in front of them. It's, yeah. it's, it's, I start talking about the Republicans. Sorry, guys, but hey, you know, it, it's sense, sense just don't make sense no more. But that's in the crazy word. The Bible tells yeah. you that. Mm -hmm. Good. How how was how I want I want to say it the correct way. They speak evil, evil as good and good as evil. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Right. Up is dung and dung is up. Right. Uh. A reprobate mind. Yep. Yes. That's a, you know what? That's a good thing you said it because that's, I was trying to figure out where these people like why. And he was saying, I was like, why can't these people say that? So that that's probably why they can't. Yeah. Correct. They can't. They honestly can't because he gives them over to a reprobate mind. Yeah, that's what it has to be because it's like, how, how can you not see the truth? Why they smacking in your face? You can't do the nah, nah. Right. They can't see it. Yeah. They yeah. Can't see it. It's literally yeah. like they can't see it. Mm -hmm. And you're probably right. It's probably a reprobate mind. They can't see it. Yeah, they can't see it. Wow. Right is wrong is right. Yep. Yep. And wrong wrong right, right is wrong. wrong. Yep. And they will uh, fight you all day on it. Boy, yeah. and, 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 let's pray for the body of Christ. Yep. Because he said his bride will have no spots, no stain, a wrinkle that does not describe the church today. No, everybody see what everybody does not. He does not deserve what oh, the church today is actually a harlot. The Bible calls it a harlot. Yes, indeed, I believe it. But is that really right. the true church, though? The true mm -hmm. church is that really the true church? Because remember, there is the, a true church, the, but the true church the, is not. Out remember, there. the okay. Bible says that there. There will be those that come to him and say, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name? 
I never knew you. Those are the ones. Those are the ones who are speaking. Well, yeah, I never knew you. Even though I knew you at one time, I never knew so you did. The, exactly. So are they really the church? Are they really the church? They're not. They're not. Well, they're, 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 they're the ones people. that people think on when you had the head of word church. Yep. Think on those those edifices and the organizations and when you yeah. they had a word church. You know. Yeah, because that's what America is putting forth. That's what they they commercialize. They they advertise right. that. Right. So that's why it's important for us to do our job and get out there and to be the living gospel for them to look at us and be like, that person is different. Right. Something about this woman is different. She live her life different. She don't right. she don't flow the same way these other people flow. Correct. Correct. And that's exactly where I was trying to get to with that. We got to go out there and we got to show them who Jesus is for real. Because they don't know. The only thing that has been presented to them is that mess. Mm -hmm. And that's not who Jesus is. Yeah, that's not mess for real. You know? So we are the ones working next, next to these people. They are co-workers. So we got to show them who Christ really is. You and know, even those who say it's Christian. Language, everything. You know, they don't know. Mm -hmm. We have to show them. Yep. We have, we have to do it. He said, when I return to the earth, will I find any faithful? Yep. Mm. And that's a sobering question. When I read it in the Bible, that was so so bad to hit my heart so my heart so hard when I returned and because it it, it it was a to me it sounded like he was almost ready to give up. Will I even find any faithful when I return? Hmm. Oh. So the rapture all right, I'm like, can't wait for the rapture. But if the rapture came, how many of us would really go? Amen to that. Recognize it and how recognize many of us it. would really go? Yeah. Mm. Can you hear me? That's the question. How many of us would really go? Amen, amen. I know how many think they would go. Mm -hmm. But how many would really go? Yeah. How many would really go? I heard you, Annie. Okay. Your mic is a little low, Annie. If you could turn it oh, up. Okay. Oh, she was speaking? Yeah, yeah, I would say a lot of people say they want the rapture. Can they can they recognize it? I mean, right in front of you when you see it's happening. And not huh. run for the hills because somebody, uh, <laughs> these people uh, be disappearing and, or where the, how the rapture is supposed to be. If it's, if they're going to disappear or, or they're going to drop. We don't know how it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. But would it be, a, would they be able to recognize it? You know? Uh, and that's something, uh, uh, my God, it take me. It's gonna be suddenly. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna yeah. be a process. It's just gonna happen suddenly. Like he said, mm. like lightning, like a lightning flash. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Annie, if I'm if I'm able to recognize the rapture, I, I ain't I ain't do I ain't do something right. <laughs> I know that's right. Right. It's if I can recognize it, I'm not gonna be able to recognize it. I ain't do something right. It's gonna be too quick. Yeah, yeah. you. Be, I should be gone. It's gonna be too so. quick. Now you know. After the rapture come and gone, people is just gonna keep on living like normal. Because they're gonna tell them some lie, right? They're not gonna they uh, they're gonna just be like another day for them, not realizing they're they're they getting into the trip going into the tribulation period. Right. They're the in the tribulation the, period. The government, so, them. the government want to find them. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna look at it as some kind of. Uh, some kind of disease or some kind of mass <laughs> something or attack or something like that. They're gonna it's gonna, oh. they're gonna make something up. That, yeah, it's gonna turn they're gonna turn it into some type of worldly mm -hmm. disaster that mm -hmm. happened. No, I'm telling you, the, the aliens came and took us. Right. God. Yep. <laughs> explain it somehow. They gotta explain it somehow. If they don't, they don't explain it. They stock don't explain market, it. stock market gonna panic. Financial stuff gonna collapse. So they are gonna have to say something, right? 
Ali's. Oh, that, oh that's going to happen anyway. Just gone all over the world in Africa and in India. And it was like, oh, what, Ali's, what happened? How you can explain that? They're going to have to find a way. Oh, aliens came. Like Star Trek, you know, and they, they beamed them up. Hey, huh. hey, uh, hey, that's going to happen anyway. Stock markets and all that stuff going to it's going to crash anyway. Yeah. Think about it. You you if you have uh we we had a president in office and stock market takes a huge dip when powers get switched over. It takes a big dip between um between one president to the next or if the president does something crazy. Think about if the president disappeared altogether. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just and gone. Those, and over like this, gone. Yeah, and that's just one person. Yeah. So it's it's going it's going to crash. Again. Things gonna come to a halt. It's gonna be like a, a worldwide riot. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's gonna be chaotic. Remember, I, remember I, you're gonna have people flying planes, driving yep. cars, people, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, trains. You're gonna have people who are supposed to be doing dealing with power. You're gonna have things blowing up because nobody's there monitoring stuff. Hmm. Mm. Newborn babies all gonna disappear. All yep. of them gonna be gone. And then mothers who aren't saved, they're going to be hysterical. Oh, oh yeah. Absolutely insane. They will mm-hmm. be, be like Rachel. Well, they be comforted. They're not going to be comforted. No, like, yeah. Like, like Rachel. Yeah, like Rachel. Yeah. Her children and will not be comforted. Exactly. Her baby just gone. You can't tell her where her baby is. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if more than one baby is where well, her kid's gone, she's going to lose her mind. Mm-hmm. Huh? Especially if she has surgery. She's just waking up. Nothing. Yeah. Well, baby, nah. baby just had yeah, baby just have his gun and you remember the other four kids? Yeah, we don't know where they are either. <laughs> hmm. It's gonna be chaos. Yeah, man. I bet you, I bet you the world will be so far gone they won't recognize that was the rapture. You know, and believe That's it or cool. not, in a situation like that, a lot of people are gonna turn to God. Yeah. <laughs> Who never turned to him will turn to him. All the people who, who heard about him. But no, no, I I, I think the devil hang will be still be in it and t- turn them around who's left behind. Of course, you're like you all imagine and stuff. Yeah, you get ready with his big life. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing about it, when the rapture takes place and the bride mm-hmm. is gone, God love is lift from the earth. His grace, this, it, there's it's no gone. more God here. It's judgment, it's tribulation. So it's chaos, confusion. The devil will now have his chance to roam the earth and mm. use everyone that's left. And the ones who will not bow or take the mark of the beast, he's going to chastise them. So they're going to have to die for their faith. You know, mm. yeah. so this is, this, this is, this, 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 there's no more love on earth. God, take his bride, rapture them home. They're gone. You know, That's and so, so he's left here. So it's nothing but chaos. It's so scary to think mm-hmm. of. Yes, it is. So and remember, God, God yeah, also it's been scary. Hearts. He's also going to harden hearts. Correct. So well, gonna, yeah. You're going to have some that even even if they wanted to change, that God's going to harden their heart. No changing because the love of God is lifted from the earth. Now they're gone. So they're, mm-hmm. they're, they're re- total reprobate, reprobate minds. Total. Yeah, right. The hearts are going to be the hearts are going to be so hardened that remember in 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 Revelation it said that they will take their armies and they will fight against them. How are you going to go and rally your armies to go fight against the living God? Some how are you yeah. going to fight someone that's coming from the sky? <laughs> well, and keep in mind when when two angels went to Sodom and Gomorrah, what did those men try to do? Two angels from yeah. heaven. Bold yep. and rude and disrespectful, but, but they look is, like men, Maria. They didn't look like angels, they look like men. This is even yeah. because they look like men walking in the street. This is you see somebody the sky open up from the sky in glory, mm-hmm. yeah, with, with angels beings coming with him. And you can be like, Pick up your guns, guys, pick up your AK 57, let's do something. What you do? <laughs> Drop to your knees. Just, like, just like you said earlier, alien. Wow. <laughs> well, think about it. Even okay, let's take it in natural. Like um, uh, um, the Will Smith movie in, in the Independence Day. Yeah. yeah. Now look how powerful those aliens are, and men are shooting at them and carrying on with their guns. Mm-hmm. What do you think guns gonna do to aliens who can blast you out of the, the earth in like 
Hmm. One click of a button. Hey, hey Maria, Men good thing. Uh huh. That's a good thing you bring that up too. People are going to be conditioned because of the movies. I guess my next point. Thank you. In theaters <laughs> and on TV, they're going to be conditioned, just like um, just like with violence. You see yes. so much violence, you you have yeah. your fingers that when it happens in front of you, it doesn't really affect you. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, they're numb. They're numb mm-hmm. to it, and it feels like, oh no, this is not real. This is in the movie, and they're not realizing. No, it's real. Everything that been that's been put out in every movies, it's what's coming forth. It's a prelude or whatever you want to call it. It's you know, but people are not paying attention. They're like they're going to the movies. They're enjoying these little uh, you know earthquake in California, earthquake there, and this. Da, 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 da. It's what's going to happen. When I look at any type of a show, especially science, sci-fi type yeah, show, sci-fi. Mm-hmm. I look only to learn. I'm not watching for entertainment, okay? They have some the other day, one on the other, superhumans. They had some on the other day about how they're taking these children and they're conditioning them and do because they said, if you get children at age... 10 to 16 I believe it was there's something with their development and their mind once you get them at that age you have total control over them so what it is is to control the children because the children of the future quote unquote supposed to be so once you get a hold of the children and you conform change your minds and inject some sort of a chip in their in their gum jaw you can't get it out you control them totally you know, hmm. I watch this stuff just to see if this is exactly what's com- coming down. COVID is not new. COVID been in in in, in shows from I think 2012 yeah, or something yeah. like that. Outbreak, yep. Right? It's not new. Okay. And so watch the next thing that they're they're gonna do. Everything that is happening in Earth, they put it out in the movies first. And people hmm. we should be getting ex because all these signs is letting us know we're going home. Yeah, it's coming soon. Even the cartoons change. I don't watch cartoons because I don't understand what's going on for real. <laughs> even it, even that is not to me entertaining no more. Everything just changed. Yeah, but that's all right. Those who belongs to him, we're going home. And we got to, we got to. We got to be about our father's business right now. Exactly. Which is souls. Oh. It's about souls, you know. Yes. And we need to. We need to truly ask the Lord. It's no longer business as usual. It should not be business as usual for us because we are the 11, 11 o'clock hour. You know, ain't nothing actually stopping him from returning tonight. Hmm. It's true. Everything that should have been fulfilled has been fulfilled. You know? So we we got to ask the Lord, Lord, am I doing enough for you? I, I was asking him that. Lord, am I doing enough? Is there something else you want me to do? Is there something else you want? Am I, are you showing me something, but I'm not seeing it? I'm constantly asking the Holy Spirit that. You know, oh. what else can I do? You know? Whatever mm-hmm. door you open, open a door for me, Lord. You know, pray God open doors for you, for the mm-hmm. gospel. Ask him mm-hmm. well. to open doors for you. You're going to the grocery store, Lord, open a door for me to drop a seed. You know, and mm-hmm. he will open a door. Like Dale, you were talking about the, the red-headed guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't know how the red-headed guy might like had choked, throw up a challenge to God. You know, you don't know if he had decided to end his life that night, and if you real let somebody talk to me, look me in my eye, and give me five dollars. Mm. You don't know. You don't know. I didn't know. Exactly. He gonna throw that challenge up to God. And God came to you and tell you exactly specific. When you said that story the other night, I look at how specific God was. And I said to myself, I bet you that young man challenged God. Mm. I bet mm. you he challenged God because it was too specific. It was very what specific. I told you to do. It was too specific. Very specific. 
<laughs> from the, from the, how much to give him? Exactly. How to much shake, to give him? Yeah. Look him in the eye, shake his hand, tell him your name, ask him his name, and give him five dollars and tell him God loves you. Hmm. That was too much specifics. It was very specific. Yeah, them specific things, just like that. Correct. And I thought about that. And as I listening to the video over and over and over, I keep saying to myself, that young man challenged God. Hmm. Hmm. I bet you those are the requirements he gave God. Yeah. Hmm. No, yeah, you're right. It was because it was so specific. Right. Money, you know, give him the five dollars. Another five dollars. Yeah, yeah. Get tip last night. Five dollars. Yeah, I want you to give him that. My five dollars. Yeah, you buy that. Right. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I, I don't think yeah. that's chocolate. I know. Yeah, very shaky hand, shaky hand. I got touch him. I can't just you know. <laughs> right. I can't just put it back down and keep walking like you normally do. No. No. Shake his hand. Yeah, shake his hand. Ask him his name. Tell him your name. Shake his hand. Ask him his name. Give him the five dollars. Shake his hand. When you shake his hand, put the five dollars in his hand, and before you walk away, say God loves you. I walk away, say God loves you, brother, and I walk away. Hmm. And the way we can see a happy lolly, happy day, you get it five dollars, you get it, do it, do it. Right. How awesome it would be when you enter heaven, you see him. Yeah, man. Hmm. And he tell you, you know, that day when you, you gave me the five dollar, I, I was gonna go home and end my life and I challenge God. Wow. Hmm. I just be glad to I would be glad to be to have been used. Correct. You know, I'd be like, you know, no, I know, I need no thanks from anybody. Just glad that I was used. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seemed seemed insignificant to you. Yeah. But it could have made the world to that child. Yep. Could have made life and death for that child. Amen. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. When, when, ladies and gentlemen, when you feel the tongue from the Holy Spirit to do something, do it. Amen. Do it. Because mm-hmm. you have no idea mm-hmm. why God telling you specifically mm-hmm. certain things to do. Yep. Because he know. Yeah, yes, he does. He know. Ain't it wonderful to know the laws when he talked to you? Yep. You have no doubt. And ain't it wonderful that you that he have you in your hand? And when he say, I need Linda Dale, everyone that's listening, I need you all to do so. So when you go ahead and do it, then you get blessed. Whether it's a week from now, two weeks from now, isn't it wonderful? Yep. When I was going through my trial and tribulation, I was losing my mind, you know. Yeah. And I had to lay here in tears and cry out to God to help me. When 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 they took my medication away, because I was on sedatives, because oh. I had a nervous breakdown, and all I could do is pray out to God. That's all I can do. And I learned not to judge the people on the ground, um, the, the homeless people that I would pass in my car, that I would walk by. I would give them a few dollars and say, always keep your eyes lifted to Jesus. He will help you get through. And that has been my motto when God has delivered my, delivered my mind. Because mm-hmm. I'm always, I'm still emotional. I can't uh, be around funerals or sorrow yeah. because it hurts me so bad yeah. to know. But to know that I can help someone that's less fortunate, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know? Because mm-hmm. that's uh, 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 my pain is I'm not going to get over it because I'm still in the flesh. Of but course. In my mind, I love my Heavenly Father and He's brought me through. You hear? So that's my thing of paying Him back. That I once I have money in my purse or whatever, I will help somebody else that's less fortunate. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. 
Exactly. Mm. It's just something to really think about, you know? Yeah. To go there and always be listening for that still small voice. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You would recognize it, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course. You would recognize it as no joke. <laughs> It's a still, for me, it's a still voice and only speak once. If you have a hair, if you have an ear to listen when I talk, or uh, I forget what the scriptures say, but it's the same thing I'm saying. If you have an ear, listen to what the, the, the uh, you have an ear, hear what the spirit says. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ooh. It's true. Yes, it's true. It's true. So let's live our life like that. Yeah. Let's live our life like that for real, for real. Always listening for that voice. Yes. That I found ten dollars and I'm putting it right in God's plate tomorrow when I go to church. Mm -hmm. I have it right there. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be broke for one or two days, but I'm gonna put that in his pocket for real. I found it and I put it in his pocket. Huh. In whose pocket? Heavenly Father. Oh, 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 oh. When I give it to the church, it's on them, you know, because I've given it to my Heavenly Father. Because you're right, Linda, and everybody here today, we don't know when that rapture going to be. Yeah. And you don't want to leave there. So, God, you left me. <laughs> oh, gosh. I will try to make light, light of everything, but it's true. Lord, don't leave me here. That would be too devastating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. to be in the, in this crazy world that doesn't that, like it's crazy now it truth, is, truth is not the truth anymore lies are huh. you know and uh, and like i said in the past few months it's, it's so unbelievable how lies so over over, over see the, the truth huh. it's crazy yeah reprobate mind like linda said man yeah and then that's the click the click it said ah Makes sense because I couldn't understand how, how even in your own human logic, how could you, how could you, yeah. I don't, reprobate mind. Yeah. Yep. Mm. This is exactly what it is. Right. They, they, they're they taking over. It's yeah. Like, yeah. They're that demonic thinking now. Yeah. You know, but, you know, we got to be the truth. You have to. You have, have to be a beacon. You know, because the truth isn't out there no more. So we got to become the truth, which is in Christ Jesus. You know, Pilate, ask him, what's truth? What is really truth? Pilate, Pilate probably was so sincere with that question. I don't think he was being sarcastic. Yeah, I have the sense, I have the sense he was very sincere. Very, he was sincerely he was asking. I think he was, he was sincerely very, very asking. He wasn't being sarcastic. No, I don't think he was. You know, I mean, hey, he is a hardened general. See a lot of death. See a lot of uh, blood spill. See a lot of uh, conniving and deceit. He probably deceived himself and lied and do acting around stuff himself. So he got hard. His yeah. heart was hard. Yep. Here he was facing pure love. And you think he felt it? Huh. Yeah. You know he felt, you know he felt it. Yep. You know he felt he looked Jesus in his eyes. That hmm. man felt that love. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. asked him, "What is truth?" Yep. And he also knew, being the hardened man like you said he was, he also knew. He knew exactly. He knew exactly why 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 Jesus was there. He knew it was because of of jealousy from the Pharisees and the, the religious leaders. Right. He knew he didn't do anything. He knew. He knew. He knew. Right. He knew. He knew what was going on. He knew the politics and he knew what was going on. He was just like, here we go again. Right. Right. And sometimes I wonder, Lord, why you didn't answer him? You know? When he asked you what is truth? Maybe he answered him later in his life? Huh? Maybe he answered him later in his life? Could be. Yeah, never know. Could be. Maybe he was able to receive it. He was to receive it. Mm -hmm. In his life, he answered it. Because remember, too, Pilate's wife came to him. 
Yep. And tell them have nothing to do with that just man. Yep. Because I suffered many things in a dream about him. Yeah. Now, hey, it's pilot wife. You know, she ain't got nothing to do with no Jewish people. She ain't know nothing who, about Jesus. Yeah, she ain't know that, none of that. Yet she had a dream and told him, have nothing to do with that just man. That's yeah. a righteous man. Have yeah, but you basically, don't, don't have nothing to do with condemning him. Don't have nothing to do with that. Right. Right. Find a way back or find a way to get back out of it. Find something that don't have nothing to do with that. Right. So all of that pilot had to deal with so I mean that's why he asked him. What what's truth? What is truth? And, and, and in his kind of way, he tried to not have anything to do with it. That's what you see. I wash my hands of this. Mm -hmm. oh. Basically, wash your yeah. hands of it. Yeah, pilot knew. He and knew. Yeah, he knew. He, he knew it was all it was all bull crap. He knew. He knew all the politics. He washed his hand. He, he knew that was the son of God. He knew. When you wash your hand of something, you mean you don't want to have no part of it at all. Mm -hmm. He knew it was man. He knew it was it was just all a bunch right of right man. jealousy and 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 nonsense. Again, politics rolled right in. That's why he washed his hands. Yeah. Tried to try to be uh neutral. Play, you know. Yeah, neutral in kind of money, like you know. Even try to find ways to, to, to get him to, to 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 let Jesus have when he when he asked them, okay, we're gonna I'm release, I'm release to you. Yeah. And and they, they he thought he thought, okay, they're gonna release Jesus and they're gonna condemn Barabbas. But nope. Yeah. He tried all kind of ways, he's always like, okay, this isn't gonna work because these people are riled up. Again. Right. They were turned over to, they turn over to a reprobate mind because they prefer a murderer. Yeah. yeah. So they were turned over to a reprobate mind themselves. And they were riled up by the, they were riled up by the religious leaders. Mm -hmm. Riled up by them, but he, he's blasphemous and he committed blasphemy and ripping the clothes and like that. Don't mind me, please. Can you imagine when them religious leaders left this earth mm. and opened their eyes in glory? And the first I thing don't they saw they their eyes and glory because they did so so no they, they, they stood be, no they stood before him for judgment Annie oh yeah that's right right that's what I'm talking about okay so so they, they did open their eyes in glory because they stood before him for judgment and when they look in his face and saw who he was I wonder what their first thought was <laughs> we can't sit here. <laughs> it starts with an O. I know. <laughs> they, they, they were so arrogant. They said, You, what you doing here? Mm. Oh, just so. trust me. Arrogance can't stand in his presence. Mm -mm. Arrogance can't stand in his presence, Tona. Mm. They can't stand in his presence. They're probably in the face. They, mm. I was just about to say, they were on their face. Exactly. And when they looked up and saw, who was standing in front of them? I know that their, their heart was sunk to their toes. Ain't that something? I'm telling you. I didn't know. I didn't know. You knew. You can imagine the begging. I didn't know. Too late. Forgive me. Too late. Too late. You didn't accept me when I was alive. Correct. Mm -hmm. Too late. Correct. And they had no excuse. Because no. he was doing things no human being could do. Yeah. Mm. And not like there was men before him that was doing what he was doing. Nobody did what he did. They have yeah. to protect what they had. They have to protect the, you know, the relationship. Their they have image, the standard, their house. Yeah, they have to protect what they had to roam to because it, they, they fool themselves into thinking that they're protecting Israel. Right. They're really protecting themselves and protecting the wealth they had. That's what they're really protecting. Yes. Huh. And the status they have in the in the oh, in right. the in the That's town. Correct. Really yes. Correct. You know something? One thing I would love to see how how the the cloth ripped in two. Oh, the curtain? Yes. Oh, man. Up to the bottom. Yeah, right down to the bottom. No human hand could have done that. Hmm. But still it did not do that. Just tear it. Yeah. Yeah. It was an angel did it with a sword. Oh, that's true. 
cut it right down with a sword for, for real deal. Yeah. We no longer need to separate separate the, the holies of holies. Mm. Yeah. No separation. Yeah. You need no priest, you need no nothing. Nope. Nope. Come bold. He said, come boldly before my throne. You can come boldly. Mm. Angels can't even come boldly. Uh -huh. Don't think about it. An angel who never sinned, who pure and holy, he ain't coming to God's presence boldly. You crazy? They got better mm. sense. Hmm. Yep. They can't come before God and let him call him. They cannot. And when they're leaving, they can't turn their back and leave. They got to back out. Yeah. Mm. They cannot give God their back. They got to back out with wings covering their face. Yeah. And look on him. I say it was once one of them. Is, isn't there a scripture somewhere in 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 the scripture somewhere that says it, that we're not even supposed to we're not even supposed to curse Satan, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Mm. In Jude, that's what I thought. It's in Jude because he said not even Michael when he were when he was contending for the body of Moses with the devil. Yep, brought a railing. Against Satan, he said, "The mm -hmm. Lord rebuke you." That's what I was reading about early this week about mm. the about the whole Moses about the whole Moses thing and 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 how we God took him up into the mountain and showed him where the land he wasn't going to go into, and then Moses died and God buried him, and then Michael and Lucifer was sparring over the body of Moses. Because I kind of think I kind of suspect Lucian um, Lucian Luc, Lu, Lucifer wanted to. To make a religion out of it. Yes. Yep. You know, make a temple. Right. That's exactly what his plan. Yeah, not a sect of, 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 of Buddhism or something. Yeah, make it. Think about it. That's Moses, man. Moses died. Had Moses' body is in there, but oh, it a big thing, man. Correct. Absolutely correct. We probably would have had Christians, Muslim, the Mosaites, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. thing. And then it, don't think about it. The Bible says that God Himself buried Moses' body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So nobody could find it. Mm. God mm. himself did it. Wow. Exactly. What's interesting though is that. During Jesus' um, configuration, it was Moses, Elijah, and, and Elijah. No, Elijah didn't die. He went up into heaven. Mm -hmm. And one, one person was saying, I was reading with somebody, saying, what, well, the Bible tells us Moses died, but it's interesting that one of the people who paid before with Christ didn't die. But the Bible tells us Moses died. So you were saying, okay, but the Bible said Moses died, but did he die? In the sense that we understood it. Correct. Huh. Mm -hmm. No, I'm like, I don't know. That's all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Scripture is scripture. I don't know. But the Bible said he died and God buried him. Huh. But think about it. Look, look, look at, at Moses and Elijah. They actually represent. The saints that's gonna be uh, Jesus coming back. To <coughs> the one that died and was buried, and the one that was still alive. Raptured. Raptured up. That's true. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Now repeat what you said, Linda. I said Moses and Elijah each represent. When Jesus come back, who right. he coming back for? He coming back for the saints that died and the ones that are still alive and just going to go straight to heaven like Elijah did. Okay. Elijah okay. went straight to heaven. And Moses is the one that died. Right. Right. And Elijah is the one that was alive that went up. And went yeah. straight to heaven. Right. Yeah, it's like an example of what we will see when right. the rapture come again. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. In the rapture. Boy, the Bible, that, 
There's so Ooh. many hidden secrets in the Bible. Yes. <laughs> Unless God show it to you. Mm. You know? Everything, everything, the Bible says that the earth is a type and shadow. The, te the temple mm -hmm. and the tabernacle that, that he instructed Moses to build and to make them a certain way is a, was a type and shadow of the temple in heaven. Everything is a type and shadow. The earth is a type and shadow. The Bible tells you the earth is a type and shadow of the kingdom of God. So if the earth is a type and shadow, right? Y'all work with, go along with me on this, on this thinking. If the earth is a type and shadow, so, then we got to be type and shadow. We are. So we, we have to be a type on, and shadow of what we're going to be in the kingdom. And we killing ourselves to hold on to the type and shadow and don't even understand what the true standard is. As beautiful as this art is, and you know the art has some beautiful <laughs> spots, it's still a type and a shadow. Yeah, it's a shadow? A shadow of the real thing. Yep. You can't touch a shadow and feel a shadow. You can't even see intricate detail in the shadow. Hmm. Correct. It's true. And we call the earth a shadow. Yet they're killing themselves to rule shadow. Hmm. <coughs> killing hmm. them to, to <coughs> rule a type of something. What is hmm. it the type? What is it? the type of. If it's a type, then there yeah. has to be something it's a type of. And yeah. type usually means less than the original form. So the earth is just a type and shadow. So imagine, man, let me ask you a question. I asked this a couple of Zooms ago, and it was just me, Annie, and... Beverly. No, Beverly one day at a time. Me, oh. Annie, and Yvonne. Uh -oh. What would you prefer? To die and be taken to heaven by the angels or be raptured? Each one of you tell me what you, what you think. Daily, you go first. You are the top. Hmm. You want to think about it for a minute? No, I think um. Wow, the two of them are most similar, really. Yeah. Except for the other one, you're just going through the dying process physically. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like I said, the two of them kind of similar in a sense. So you're just going through a dying process in the first one. I don't mean maybe die and then be taken to heaven. Oh, you prefer? Yeah, because then you get to, you know, if, if you're lucky enough, if you're if you're fortunate enough to, to to be able to to set your stuff in order before you leave. And don't be sitting and be drinking a pop and ah and you go. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. I don't know. I think maybe just, you know, live a life and then, you know. Everything right, and then, and then you die, and then you go, you'll be taking over the glory. What about you, Pinky? Pinky one. <laughs> um, I would have to go with the rapture. You better go with the rapture? That's my thinking. Okay. You want to say why? Why? I don't even know why. Okay. <laughs> what would you, Ann? Well, from the, honestly... As the Bible talks about the rapture, I haven't yet comprehended from the Bible about angels taking you to heaven. So that's my reason why I choose the rapture. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Enter in my daughter, my daughter. That's all I want to hear. Right. I telling you, my son, for real. What would you, Monica? I think it hard. This is a hard one to change. <laughs> Wanna come back to you? 
I know I think I think the rapture I, I believe I would like to be the rapture because for all the years that I have not been able to serve God to save lives if I could be here to the bitter end to that I would like to do that spread the word and save as much souls as I can to the rapture oh okay okay that's go, what go I would ahead, like to girl. do go ahead evangelist <laughs> Lionel how about you Hold on, call me mid chew. Oh, you eating? Okay, chew. <laughs> Maria, I know Francine that work. Maria, um, I I totally agree with Annie, but I would choose the rapture, mm -hmm. um, as well because yeah, like um, I'm sorry, who was who spoke before me? <laughs> I agree with what she say about that, and and from what I understand, the rapture is it's definitely instant. <laughs> like Dale said, so you'll be drinking a soda pop. Um, mm -hmm. and, and literally, you, you know, you just, you just transform, you just, you know, find yourself in a different, in, in the spiritual realm, in a different. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely, definitely the rapture. I don't want to go through the, any pain and suffering and be any burden to anyone. And, mm -hmm. and it, you know, I just, Lord, just rapture me home. My time has come. I think for me, it's similar to, to what you and Pinky once said. I would prefer the rapture, number one. I don't want to, no one left grieving over me. Right. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest thing. I don't want to leave knowing people are going to be sad and people are going to mm -hmm. be struggling mm -hmm. because of my departing, you know? So that's my biggest reason for choosing to go, because that way, not only am I going quick, but we're all going. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. We are going. We are mm -hmm. going. That is we true. Going. That would be my pick. You ready, son? Yeah, but you know there's still going to be people grieving. Sad and grieving. True. Over In the true. rapture. True. 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 We are, I want us all to go, but there are people that won't go. And there are people that may know you. And... You know, that type of thing. Oh, what Linda was I'm going to go with the rapture. I'm going to go with the rapture. <clears throat> Not because I don't want people grieving or to, to be a burden. Is I want to go with the rapture because that, that means, and not like time is going to take place once we're in heaven anyway, but that means I'm that much closer to, to heaven on earth to the final step. I can't say how time works in heaven, but once the rapture is here, that's the, the, the process has started for the final step. So that means we're right there where, you know, this is the, the final run until it's complete. Until Lucifer's done. Yeah, until until Earth is back, until the contract has been been canceled, he doesn't have control over Earth anymore. It's taken back. And justice flows like the river. Mm -hmm. Righteousness. Yeah. Peace. Well, that's why I go with the rapture. That yeah. means that means we there. It's end game. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's the end of the road. <laughs> what about you, Ma? Me. Yeah, you. Don't worry about me. Uh-huh. <laughs> to be listening. Rapture too, but yeah, the rapture. You added the rapture. Mm -hmm. I don't find it can't say anything. Hi, Tutti. Uh -huh. Hi, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> well, then most of us is the rapture. So then let's get rapture ready. Mm. Oh yeah. Let's get rapture ready. Monica, mm -hmm. I loved your response. Mm. <laughs> you recorded for immortality now. Mm. I'm gonna be listening to that answer all week. I mm -hmm. love that response. That's a that's, 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 a response. that's what I ready. feel. That's what I wanna do. That's mm. what I wanna feel. Don't, don't say let's that's get rapture. Don't say let's get rapture ready. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> don't that, that 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 makes it seem like we're not ready yet. 
So what if it happens right now? Well, the truth is, Lionel, we're not ready really, but is but we have a part to play. And as much as possible, do our part. God is responsible. The Holy Spirit is responsible. You know, know. to be make sure we're ready. So no one will go in the rapture if they're not ready, if God is not ready. Put it that way. When God is mm. ready, then we'll be ready. Put it that yes. way. That so, a, that the way I see cool. it. That's a, I saw it on Plex one time, and then it just—I think I saw it on Plex. Oh, That's because it was only one season of it. I know what you're talking about. Oh, it was it Prime? It was. It it. I was talking about the Jewish wedding, and it broke down the different things they do in a Jewish wedding, mm -hmm. and how it coincide with God and Jesus and the the, the bride. And I was watching that thing and I was like, so um, so I mean, I saw it for free. And then when I tried to look at it again, I had to pay to see it. Well, What's the name of it? Um, you gotta find it for us. I think it's called The Wrath. The Wrath? YouTube it. It's called The W R A T H. It's a woman on the front. Somebody okay. YouTube it real quick. Okay. And it's talking about the bride, and it was so informative. It opened my eyes to how much the the father of the the groom, that groom, chooses his bride, and then he leaves her there and her in her mother's house for a year, mm -hmm. and then he goes with his father to his father's house, and he prepares a home for his bride. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when the home is ready, he don't choose to come for her. The father tells him when to go get his bride. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, nobody knows that. Nobody knows that. Oh, they, they only the but father. Isn't that what Jesus said? Nobody, yeah. only the father knows. Exactly. So, so that's it, it, it lined up with how they do the Jewish wedding. Mm -hmm. I was in, I was mesmerized watching that show. Mesmerized. I'm like, oh my heard of goodness. It. So tie that now in with the rapture. So, right. you know, so Jesus has, the, remember you say he's he going to prepare a place? Yep. That's exactly mm -hmm. what the Jewish husband does. He oh, goes yeah. to prepare a place. And the girl, she has to stay ready. Yes. There you go. I like, I like that better. Ready. I like that better than everybody. Let's get ready. You know, let's get ready. Let's stay ready. Because you saying let's get ready, it kind of insinuates that we're not ready. So if it was to happen right now, our soul, we're not ready and we're still, we're staying here. No, 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 so, no, no, no. What I was saying is let's get rapture ready. In other words, let's start doing the things we need to do to leave, you know. Because the, the Bible says, God says, will I find faith on the earth? So in other words, let's make sure he find faith on the earth. Let's get ready. So when I he, know, that's, you know, I, I still like let's stay ready because let's get ready means that I'm not doing it now and I better start. Well, there's some who ain't. Like, I know, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't like let's get ready. We keep telling if we keep saying let's get ready, let's get ready. It kind of puts it out there that kind of pushes it out. Yeah, I know you're like, right. We're not ready. Did you find but it on YouTube? It less, no, I couldn't find it. I kept it kept pulling up a picture of some spaceship, some outer space thing. Anybody try to find it? Anyway. But yeah, I I just like to I just try to control how we how we say things, how we put things out there. Well, that's how you perceive it. Did anybody ever perceive it that way? Hmm. I can see how we can you can you can pursue that way. Yeah. That's like that's like um that's like saying um okay let's let's get ready let's get ready to eat or let's keep eating. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You one mean, one mean I'm only preparing to eat to start eating. The other one is I'm doing it right now, let's continue to do it. Is it before the wrath? Is it before the wrath? No. No. Wrath, wrath, just wrath. 
No, that's the girl problem. I don't know. There's a lot of rats out there. Oh, it's called Before the Rats? Sounds like a waiting name for a wedding. Watch Before the Raft Prime video. What you said there? You sure it was the Raft? Uh, let me see. It was something else for Jewish wedding? Oh, yeah, Before the Raft. Sorry. Oh, oh. Okay. Is it okay. on Prime? Yeah. It's on, on Prime? Yeah, uh, you can buy and rent it on YouTube too. Before the wrath? Uh-huh. Before the wrath. Before it the is wrath. so informative. <laughs> it was a good, good show. And I said I got to tell the, the group about this, about this documentary. Who made so, it? I don't even remember how oh, the Jewish, the Jewish, the bride and her, her bridesmaid, how, what, what the bridesmaid do to help her and how she has have to stay, stay she has to stay ready because she don't know when that young man coming. And when he come, he coming with, he coming with, with other young men. Mm -hmm. You know, when the father tell him, go get your bride, man, that thing had me. They sent me into prayer. It was so well done. Yeah. I was like, my goodness. That's what ev everything Jesus said that he's going to prepare a place. And if I go to prepare a place, I'm coming back to get all of that. Those scriptures were coming in my mind. Like, it was so fitting to, to, the, to the Jewish wedding. I was like, Lord. But this so, is part was of. Good. Yeah, this is part of what I was saying. I don't want to know when it was, what, what time it was, I was saying that. We're, we're coming as scripture with the Western mind. But mm -hmm. that whole thing is speaking out of, a, of, of the Middle Eastern Jewish wedding. Right. Because we don't do stuff like that. Right. No, we don't. Yeah, we don't tell the wife, oh, you know, I can marry you, but you got to say your mother's house still. And she going to look at you like, excuse me. <laughs> right. 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 That's what, that's what they did then. That's what they, you understand what the people who were talking to understood what he was saying. Right. They understood it perfectly. They understood it perfectly. We understand it. Yeah. We, we 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 give it a Western twist that is so totally wrong. Yeah. So totally wrong. Completely. Again, rabbit holes. Yep. But if you all could rent that movie and that show and look at it, it'll be what it's worth it. I think you could get it on Prime. You can also get it on Tubi if you have Tubi. UBI, or you can rent it from YouTube, but it'll oh. give you a good idea. Before the wrath, yeah. Okay. It's before the wrath of oh. behold the wrath. Huh? Before. Is, huh? Before, before. 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 Okay. The wrath. Here, I don't know if I can see that. You see it? Uh -huh. No. No. Back, back a little. Oh. I mean, there? I ain't claiming it, but I'm a back. Okay. No, All right. <laughs> not in the back in a positive way, please. <laughs> and it's W W R A T H. Yeah, I yeah. got it. It's I'm gonna look it up right after we finish. Mm -hmm. On the front of it. My, yeah, man and a woman. Yeah, it's worth it to rent it for real. For for real. It's gonna put all the the the, the verses Jesus said into perspective for you for real. How he preparing the place and he waiting for the father to tell him, go get your bride. He can't do a thing till the father tell him, go get your bride. And the father can tell him in the middle of the night. Wake him up in the middle of the night and tell him, go get your bride. So he don't even know, like you said, the time to the, the time to do it or the son don't have no idea him. when the father gonna tell him go get his bride. No idea. So the groom don't know, and the bride don't know. Only the father know. Mm -hmm. But both has to stay ready. Ain't just us have to be ready, no. Jesus have to be ready too. Mm -hmm. He has to stay ready because he don't know when God gonna tell him go get your bride. Mm -hmm. So ain't just us wondering, Lord, when you're coming, you've been God so long. <laughs> he gonna do the same thing. He gonna do the same thing waiting to hear go get your bride. Can you imagine? 
Can you imagine how excited Jesus must be to get us? Mm. Y'all ever think of that? Yep. Yeah. How excited? Yeah. Imagine your wedding day, how excited you was, those who, who got married. You were like, some of us couldn't even sleep. Mm. And we were marrying another human. Think imagine about how Jesus must feel. Yeah, he must he must feel like like um like like we're his kids, right? He spent he spent all this time growing us, growing us, and during birth he died. We're not Jesus' kids. We're know, God's I'm saying, kids. I'm, I'm I'm just I'm just saying it's it's like we're his kids, right? And he spent all this time, you know, through through the birth through the um cooking process, mm-hmm. the whole pregnancy, and then right you know, given birth before he can, he can grab and hold us, he dies. And then he has to wait for that day where he can get us all back, where he can come and meet us and, and bring us to him. And, and, you know, we're, we're his think about if, if you never met your kid and you were just waiting, you were just waiting for somebody to say, okay, now go, Mm -hmm. go see your child. Right. The excitement. Like like that. Mm. It's like being separated from day one. Yep. And you get that one day, and and you you've seen them grow up. You've seen you've seen through glass. You've seen them grow up. You just can't touch them. You just can't reach out and get them. And then mm-hmm. one day that glass is gonna be gone. Mm-hmm. And you reach out and grab them. Right. <laughs> right. You know, that 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 show made me think of all of that. How excited I'm Jesus was going to be to finally get his bride how excited he is right now mm-hmm. to get his bride shouldn't we be beautiful to save her, to save her from all this crap yeah it's amazing that's your and well i hope you all look at it before we come back next saturday so we could i, I could hear you all input and your reaction to it Okay. Because it's very impactful for real. It's okay. very impactful. It makes you really think. Who? You know? Mm-hmm. Amazing. I'm going to see if I could get it on my TV. So I don't have to I'm watch it. I'm looking it up now. Yeah. It's on Prime. Um, to be. It's a man and a woman, Lynn. Let's see, right? Yeah. A young man and a young woman. Like, like, them Jewish. With it, with it. She got to think they shall over her head. Guys, I see the trailer like for this? it. I don't know if you can see it when that. No, come over. Yeah, that. That's it? Okay. That's it. All right. All right, good. That's it. Prime TV. Prime have it too. Amazon Prime. Yeah, I'm um, yeah, I get it on um, Prime. Yeah. So I'm going to watch it on that. Uh, you know, take your notes. It's before. And then we come the name is Before the Rap. Talk about that. Yeah. That's the name. Okay. Okay. We got homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta watch it tomorrow because I won't be able to do it any other day. <laughs> okay, y'all. Excuse me for a minute. Okay, I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Everything goes see it on Tubi. Yeah, what's the name of your dog? Pepper. Oh, it's a girl? Hmm? Yeah. It's a girl? Yeah. Is she Spain? Yeah. Man, I'm trying to find one for my boy. His name is King. Let me get him. I'm trying to find out a, 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 to greet her, her, get some pups. Um, Jerusha have a gray one and he is beautiful. Hey. He's faded. I, I neutered. Oh. He's a big fat dude, boy. When he step on your foot, it's a large Jesus. Get your heavy self off my foot. Yeah, heavy. He, he's yeah, silver he's so... and it's oh he is, he's so pretty. Come, King. Come see. See a pretty girl, King. Look, come. Come. What's her name, dear? Come. Peppa. Oh, come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Stop wobbling your tail. Get up in blazing. He's something else. <laughs> Come on, <here>, kid. <laughs> Say hi. I hope y'all can see him. <laughs> Say hi. 
Hey. Look, King, look. He don't like to look at he don't look away. He don't never look. Look, see. Look at that dog is bigger than her. Hello. He don't look at a he don't look away. This is hmm? what he to be doing. He won't look at a camera. Hmm? He don't got can you see a pretty girl right there? Hmm. He don't got it. Look a pretty girl. Look, look, look at her. Oh, who that that is? Hmm. I see Dale he don't got it. She's so pretty. That's King, cool. look, look at her. Look at, look at a girl. Look at a girl. Hmm. You see her? <laughs> um, Monica. Yes. You got to do a dog. That's King. Who? King. Let me. I ain't see him. Let me see him. Come. If he stay, he don't look in the camera. He don't look away. He don't never look. Come. Well, he is a, a, a pit bull. Man. A pit bull like bull like, like Dale. Oh wow. There he huh. is. King. He won't look at the camera. He would not. No matter how you try, you see. You see. I could tell you, no matter where I go, look, look in, he would look, he would never. He gonna look all over the place. I don't never. know why, you could trust Pitbull, boy. I scared of them dogs bad. It's because of Jamal, I get used to Pitbull. Yeah, they're, they're the most loving, affectionate dog ever, Linda. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on their owner. Yeah. yeah. If you, you got one, I always wanted to put up the fight and all of that, yeah. Don't trust it, but you have a yeah. loving, yeah. Because Jamal changed my mind with pit bulls. Hmm. Jerusha have a beautiful silver one. Mm. Wow. He's a he's he's a male. But yeah. um he don't have he can't have babies. He, his thing got cut off. Mm. He's yo, I think yo, don't worry about him. She's over here with two huge dogs. <laughs> yeah, you, you I, got, I got two big dogs. Yeah, yeah no problem you? coming over here. Yeah. I know you got a wolf there somewhere. Exactly. She got what no problem. Daily upstairs? Daily upstairs being snooty on the bed. He ain't want to talk to nobody. Snooty <laughs> <laughs> dog for real. Uh, yeah, he is. That movie yeah. is on Plex. He'll come down. He'll come down. I thought it was on Plex. It is. I, I just searched it on the TV. I couldn't find it. What was looking for? It's on Plex? Yeah, you can search it. Where you? How are you finding on Plex Line? I couldn't find I it. Just, I just go up to the top to search. Ah. And, and then I typed in before. Ooh. And then you know what I was up. typing in? I was typing in the raft. That's why I couldn't find it. So what's what's Plex? Oh, Plex, it's a Netflix. It's a personal media library. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we on Lionel's Lionel's account. He'd have a whole bunch of movies downloaded, like a bazillion movies. Mm. A bazillion. <laughs> That's a lot of downloading right now. Yeah, and he, 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 yeah, and do it. he have one for me and dad that have that cowboy pictures and his karate stuff in it. That's just for dad. And then he got the stuff that I like and then the stuff that Franny like. Everybody have their own little <laughs> door. Yeah. That we go into. We have our own password. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. And you can look at any movie you want. I love it. I love it. A bazillion. Yeah. But yeah, Dale, <laughs> I, I don't I don't do any downloading. I, I built machines that does it for me. Yeah. That's, why, that's why it's a bazillion. I'm that kind of nerd. <laughs> yeah. That's why he got a bazillion. Every <laughs> now and then all I have to do is go do a restart, do some Windows updates, and I'm good. Wow. Yeah, y'all look at that movie for real. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I'll make sure I'll make sure Franny watch it. We'll That'll be our movie. homework, Linda, for next Saturday. Uh-huh. After our homework for next Saturday. Yes, that's homework for next Saturday. Hey. What the other dog creeping over? Hey. Oh, look what at the other you? dog. What the line? Look at it. Look at it coming down. <laughs> He's so cute. You're talking about me? He's beautiful. He don't look at the camera either. Look, he moved. He, he don't look at the camera. What's his name again, Dale? Huh? Coco. Oh, what's the girl's name? Pepper. Oh, Coco is a boy. I thought Coco was a girl. Coco's scared of everything. <laughs> I know I, I, know, I tell her oh, story one time, me and he was sitting on there. And the, the, the boom fell in the, in the kitchen. 
the boom slide down and for plan. Coco jump up, jump up the chair, run halfway up the stairs, look at me, say, You could deal with that. I go upstairs. <laughs> Is you dog in the house? You supposed to see what I <laughs> tell me when you find out. <laughs> oh my god! So, so basically, you are you're his god dog. Basically, <laughs> Pepper and Pepper is the one who's really be barking and jumping up and stuff and looking to blah. <laughs> Right, you get more, you get more, you get more, you get more cojones than he. Okay. <laughs> but at least he looks intimidating, so that's that, that'll do the job. Yeah, he doesn't look intimidating, that's true. That'll do the job. Okay. Actually, they actually do something to make a move toward him, he's going to be like, ah, oh, Scooby Doo. Was a head, was a head chip, a chip bag opening or something, and he comes down the stairs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he come no side to side. Look at look at him. 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 Look him. Look at him. Look at him. Look him. Look at him. Look at him. Look him. Oh wow! And Ariel was was just born. I tell him, oh, you can get rid of the dog or get rid of you. But someone yeah. y'all even. Yeah, I don't blame you because people have people have still so many so many negative stories or somebody. Yeah, stories. about them. Yeah. yeah. People just treat them bad and then the dog snap one day. Look at here, no, yeah, people like you see him. He's a little baby. What happened? He coming down no, no, Pepper Gun. He said the closest gear, Pe Pepper Gun. The closest clear. <laughs> you him. Don't mess with Pepper Tali. Yeah. She don't harass him, that's why. Oh. <laughs> what happened, Coco? Oh. Anyway, we're going to end it. It's almost 12 o'clock. Oh, okay. okay. So y'all can go and watch, do, do your homework. All right. I'm about to see it on something. We're going to end it because oh, yes. it's too late, but y'all go watch that movie. I know, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> it's on, it's on, um, it's on, you got Prime Dale? What, Optimus Prime? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, you can rent it from YouTube. YouTube have it for rent. Yeah, yeah. If you... I look at the on, on, um, if you go on, Plex, if you go on Plex TV. And create a free account and get send me your the email address or the username. Or I'll share it with you. Okay. I'll put it in the chat. Oh, see, there you go. Yeah, man, you're clean as what? Y'all can see it for free. There you go. Go to that website, on. sign up for a free account, and send me your username. They're clean. You know what's bald? <laughs> I have no choice now. I'm bald. I'm going bald. My head Line on. up. Oh, that's, I like that. Put it, back, put it back again. The website. Did the chat? Did it go away? Yeah. It's Plex, Plex TV. It's Plex TV, right? Plex, Plex TV. TV. Okay. Yeah, just Google it. Plex TV. All right. The white side to the bottom. Lino. Huh? I saw your thing at the bottom. Yeah, it was just a web. It was just a website, Plex.tv. Oh, okay. okay. I got the hell downloaded on my TV. My TV off right now. I'll download it on the TV. Yeah, just yeah. Sign up for the account on your computer. It's easier. And then it's it's everywhere. It's on the Fire Stick. It's on Roku Stick. It's on. Oh, I got Google. It's on the TV. It's on <laughs> laptop. Well, I gotta get my son to be working. Yeah, going to one of the, um, yeah. going to go into one of our accounts instead of them each opening an account and just see it? No. Oh. Because if they continue to use it and they want to watch something, you remember how it used to be. I'm watching something, you watch it, and you'll skip my place. Too many people yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, it's right. easier just yeah, to many people are. Down the library. They, they do what they need to do. And then, and then I don't have to worry about because everybody always forget their password and stuff. So they can reset it themselves. Okay. 
right. I don't want to do all types of work for free. I know. <laughs> <laughs> for free. Even if it means saving a soul, I ain't doing it for free. <laughs> like, no. The yeah. Lord loves a cheerful giver. <laughs> <laughs> I know you heard me. She's so smooth. babe. Babe, you are quiet today. Huh? You are um, quiet this evening. I'm trying to be mindful of speaking out of turn. That's why. I got to get <laughs> used to my new... My new protocol. There you go. Proud of your girl. Proud of your girl. What you start to know? Yeah, me, huh? me, me and Bev had a problem with, with cutting folks off. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're both pra practicing cordialness. So you, instead, of, instead of cutting people off, you ain't going to say nothing at all. <laughs> 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 man, man, I'm man, being man, still. Man, nobody on. Hmm. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get so excited. You know, something hits you, you just yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. You just spew it out. Girl, I'm good to that. A god of order. Hmm. You know, That's so. Maria. I was doing that to Maria all this week. I was like, "Oh, love Maria. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Forgive me." <you." laughs> No, we were doing it to each other at you work. You know what? <laughs> but because the, you know what? Because the rebuke has been evident now, the test is going to be really surfacing. We are going <laughs> to be doing it to each other. Watch. Right? <laughs> In abundance. <laughs> Y'all making your accounts? Sounds good. I'll do mine tomorrow. Please, that I walk. Yeah, I'm going to do mine tomorrow. Oh, okay. Y'all yeah, well, got my yeah. number. And if you don't, get it from uh, get it from Ma. Okay. Just text, just text me your, your username. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end tonight. I'm going to go watch that. Watch it tonight on Plex Lionel. Make sure you search the right thing. So you're going to watch it, Linda, or it's going to be watching you? Both. Uh, you sure you're gonna be watching it or it'll be watching you? Oh no, I'm a I'm a I'm a uh, night owl. I'll be watching it. Oh that's yeah. right. I said, I'm watch it until it watch her. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's talking about me. <laughs> no, like <laughs> oh, oh you know? Joe, I'm gonna watch this interesting. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm, I gotta wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Yo, Bez. All right, men and women of God. <clears throat> Let's close this right. off so we can get some, okay. some rest. The Bible says he gives his beloved rest and you're all his beloved. So let's end mm -hmm. this. I'm going to be generous. I ain't going to call on nobody to do the closing prayer. Oh, you're so sweet. Like, <laughs> Lionel, close us off, son. Yeah, uh-huh. Look, I just took it right back, huh? <laughs> I did. <laughs> that was set up. That was long. Mm -hmm. Lord, we come to you in prayer today. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for bringing us all together, Lord. We thank you for bringing us all together in fellowship, Lord. Yes. Lord, we thank you for our health, our prosperity, Lord. We thank you for the blessings that we've received, Lord, the blessings that, that are minor, major, Lord. We thank you. And we thank you for the blessings that others receive, Lord. Just, mm -hmm. to, just to see them receive blessings let us, lets us know that, that you, you are here, Lord. You are here and you are with us, Lord. Lord, we pray that you give us all a great night's rest, Lord. Wake us up tomorrow morning healthy and refreshed, Lord, if it's your will. Lord, we, we pray that you you bring down our blessings, Lord, according to your will, Lord, and according to our relationship and walk with you, Lord. We don't call anything out of order or out of line, Lord. We ask that you just you, you give us the, the wisdom to follow your path, Lord. You give us the hunger to, to learn more about your word, Lord, and spread the word, talk amongst each other, Lord. And we just thank we thank you for open mindedness, Lord, where we all can talk, we all can have different opinions, Lord, and we can just come together and we could we could teach each other, Lord. There is no, there is no above, there is no below, Lord. There is no, there's no teacher, 
we were all teachers of each other, Lord. There's no students here. There's no teachers. There's no professors. We're teachers and students all together, Lord. And we thank you for that. Lord, we ask you all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, fellow teachers and fellow professors, you all have a good evening. Good night. Right. Good, good night, everyone. Those accounts. I don't want y'all coming to me next week talking about something. Oh, I couldn't get in. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? But they're going to always, you all just uh, send your, your information to the, um, on Messenger, to the reset. Yeah, just, and I'll send it to Lionel. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, good morning. Yeah, good morning. morning. <laughs> God bless everybody. Shalom. God bless.